Hey guys, welcome to Genius Finds. I'm going to be doing a tech news episode this time. So it looks like there's some new news coming out of Google. Uh, new chip and redesign for their Wear OS Android devices. So it looks like last month at IFA 2018, uh, Google did announce that they're going to be redesigning the OS or user experience for their Wear Android technology. Uh, but actually moving forward to today, Qualcomm just announced Snapdragon Wear 3100 will be feature the new look. Uh, at the chipmakers event today, we had our first glance to use a reference device running the new chip and the redesigned Wear OS to see Google's new smartwatch OS Go Plus. Uh, together, they give us a good glimpse at the next generation of Wear OS that's gonna be coming out soon in the future. Um, you should probably see that within the next couple of months coming out exactly from official postings, uh, as well as from videos being released from Google's YouTube and a couple other ones too as well. Uh, with the original Android Wear 2.0, Google focused on customization, measuring, and fitness. Now, two years later, Google is going to be pursuing new uh, tent poles. Basically, it's going to be the Assistant, the Fit, and the Notifications. Uh, now that Google wants you to swipe, uh, it's going to be more of a functionality that people really ask for. They're going to incorporate that into the new Wear OS UI for you guys. Uh, so, also, it looks like navigating the new Wear OS is going to be a lot easier too as well with that swipe feature. Um, so, newly the core program behind the new Wear OS is, like I said, swiping, is access to the core functionality of the, of the new smartwatch. To the left of the watch face is Google's new feed assistant. So basically for that, uh, you can do like uh, virtual snapshots of what you're really looking at on your uh, smartphone. You can also do look up a little bit of news feeds on there. Uh, you can do the weather, all that sort of thing. Basically, you can also remap that uh, button so that you can have certain core functionalities that you want, uh, whether it's bringing up a new app or something like that uh, from you personally. So the current time is conveniently at the top of the screen, you know, like the original ones, it was right in the middle of the screen, uh, followed by a shortcut to launch the voice search, and immediately underneath are a greeting, date and time, uh, and temperature as well is right underneath there too as well. Following that are upcoming events. Uh, commute date uh, details, flight status if you are taking airplanes all the time, that's going to be really helpful for you. Also, it does have hotel status too as well. So that's going to be helpful for, for everybody who's traveling out there uh, for you know basically whether it's work or for pleasure. And they also have more navigation reservation details and more than that coming up. Tapping opens the full calendar listing, directions, and other Wear OS apps. So basically also right now, so before it used to be to where when I was using it before, you had to certain kind of put certain apps on there and you had to kind of cancel out those apps to open up other apps. Right now it's not going to be that same way so it's going to be a little bit different. Um, so right now it's going to be where you can have multiple apps up at the same time. You just have to kind of swipe up to the left to kind of put that into the background and then open a new app. Uh, so you don't really have to cancel it out, it's still going to be running in the background. Um, will this affect performance and battery life? Possibly. Uh, we'll see how Google actually handles that too as well. Uh, but to the right of the face is going to be Google Fit. The two metrics Google just announced as part of the redesign list are front and center with corresponding rings for heart points and move minutes. Uh, this is going to be helpful for you guys that like to you know, see you know, what exactly you're doing in a day-to-day -day basis, you know, how many steps you're taking to work, what's your daily commute like, all that sort of thing. It's good information. And then also it's probably good data for Google to put on you so that they can send you healthy things or you know, certain ad targeting. All right, and we're gonna be, so let's see here. So Google Fit Watch, the quick access for Google Fit experiences cannot be removed uh, with a new duplicate experience as a result. Meanwhile, with the new swipe interface on you, the uh, Wear OS, it's gonna be holding down on a watch face allows users to open the picker to switch between several different options. Uh, Google has also placed audio controls here, shaped in a pill shape it's going to be a little bit one at the bottom it's kind of weird um, it's kind of like the oval shapes that you see when you swipe down on if you have an android if you swipe down you should see like those little there's sometimes little circles uh, sometimes there's pill shapes depending on what kind of uh, you know real browser you're running to as well or sorry what type of launch software you're running to uh, on the snapdragon wear 3100 reference deep uh, device a rotating crown can be used to pull up the grid uh, with two to three times quicker toggles, or sorry, toggles. Airplane mode, ringing your phone, battery saver, 
It's going to be helpful. I usually use Battery Saver on my Samsung devices all the time. Google Play, um, which on supported devices, some devices don't really have Google Play supported on them, so you have to kind of watch out for that. Uh, do not disturb button, like that. A theater mode, which is just keeps it basically all notifications down. Uh, so if you're in a movie theater, um, as you know, sometimes basically you would get a message on your watch, brightens up, kind of you know ruins everybody else's experience. Everybody's like, okay, why is that guy you know on his phone? But it's really his watch. You don't really want that to happen. Just put it in theater mode. Uh, spinning the crown. So, sorry. So other than that, there's going to be a lot more other uh, com things coming out. So basically, aside from all those. Today, Qualcomm's event was primarily about the Snapdragon Wear 3100. Now, Qualcomm had a lot of other things that they were announcing at that certain time. Uh, new chipsets chip coming out for new phones uh, in the future. You know, there's, right now it's the Snapdragon 845. Then it's going to be 900, so on and so on. Uh, so, also, the big focus was on the new processor, of course, with devices running 4 to 12 hours longer than compared times before. That's supposed to be huge. So before, you know, you could see probably about three, six, depending on how much you use it, sometimes even eight. It's hard to really say that, but now you're going to be looking at four to 12 times. So you're looking at possibly a full day, day and a half before you have to charge it. That's pretty significant. I think that's a good idea. Aside from those, uh, however, today's, so aside from those, basically the coprocessor allows for features like an enhanced ambient mode that can be displayed in live com uh, complications, while traditional watch mode can show time other than data for the two weeks uh, just on a 20% charge. Sorry, so up to a week, just on a 20% charge. So apparently they're saying that they can last up to a week right now if you only show time and pretty much like steps and stuff like that back in the ambient mode. Uh, so basically it's like an always on display for the Samsung Galaxy S9, S8, uh, all those basically in Note 9 all the new Samsung devices that have the always on display and also the Google Pixel 2 as well. So any of those, you should know that pretty much can run forever if you only use that, but who only uses that? You know, wouldn't you be interacting with the thing that you paid $300 for? I would. So basically, the where the new 3100 devices will be launching in October. Uh, so we should be seeing that next month and you should be hearing a lot more things about it at the end of September this month. Um, we'll see exactly how that unfolds too as well. Keep a view on Google. Uh, Google. <laughs> Be sure to head over though uh, and check out Google right now. See if they put on anything else since I put this video out. Right now it's September 10th. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good night.